And last one. Hey everybody, Luxinda Swirl here. Welcome back to my Paper and Other Obsessions channel. Today I thought we'd have a little fun and do some tie-dyeing. I have done this once before in my life. It was sort of an epic fail, <laughs> but I did not use a kit. I tried to do it with Rit dye and some rubber bands, which isn't that different from a kit, but I could have used a little bit of instructional help, I think. <laughs> anyway, gonna try again. I have four cotton crafting white t-shirts here so that if I screw one up, there's still a chance one might turn out okay. <laughs> Maybe even a couple. The thing I find funny here is that this looks great and I picked it up and I put it in my cart and I brought it home and then when I got home I discovered the entire box is shattered. <laughs> I mean look at that. I, this didn't, I didn't drop it in the parking lot or anything. This is how it was and I... Anyway, <laughs> I don't think anything fell out. It occurred to me to take it back, but then I thought, if nothing's missing, why why not just go ahead with the project, right? It's here, we have it, let's go. We have lots of pretty colors, and I believe all I have to do is mix water in, but I will check the directions before I start doing anything. But we have purples and pinks and reds, and we have the rainbow. We have the rainbow, you know, that always makes me happy. Love the turquoise, and um, ooh, a black. I did, didn't see that coming. Lots of rubber bands. Create Basics Tie-Dye Project. Again, this is a Walmart kit. Found it in the craft section. Set up work surface, pre-wash fabric, prepare fabric, mix the dye. Okay, so it is water to fill up to the neck. Apply dye within 24 hours after mixing. Dye fabric wrap. Let's set six to eight hours or longer for most intense colors. And you can even blend the dyes to create new colors. Although, honestly, they've given us plenty here. I'm not too worried about that. So I guess I need to prep my shirts by washing them and drying them. So I'll go do that and I'll bring you back when we're ready to start working on the shorts. Okay folks, we're back. I have decided to use the rainbow because rainbow. I have prepped my four shirts by washing them and drying them so they should be clean and free of the production sizing I guess that they might have had on them to begin with. They're ready to go. I have some gloves. I have my rubber bands. You are not supposed to mix the dyes up until you are ready to use them because they start to break down and lose their color, I guess after 24 hours. That's why I pulled out just the ones we're gonna use. I'm gonna do the rubber band on the shirt part first because then I don't have to wear gloves. All right, this first one, uh, I'm gonna start by doing a, I guess, traditional, maybe-ish. I'm just, I'm just gonna start rubber banding and we're gonna go all the way down. Nothing particularly difficult. And this will obviously be sped up royally. I will say these are really good stretchy rubber bands. I haven't broken one yet. Whoop, ha, spoke too soon. Okay, wow, one done. Let's put that aside. So let's see what happens if I do this, pull it up from the middle, kind of twist it a little.
Okay. <laughs> uh, what else can we do? Now you realize I'm gonna do all this today. We're gonna to dye them. I'm gonna put them aside for six to eight hours. And I'm gonna completely forget when we, you know, open these up to see what, what the results are. I'm gonna forget which was which. I just am. Okay, one more. Um, if we can do something diagonally. Okay. <laughs> well, that was some kind of fun. So here are our four shirts. Now I'm gonna put these off to the side and we're gonna mix up our dyes. Oops, I think that's a little full. All right. Let's make sure I've done everything. Mix dye. Replace cap tightly. Shake until dye is dissolved. Use full strength for intense colors. Well, I think that's what we're going for, so I'll just shake these up now. Louise, this one's really leaking. <laughs> Purple everywhere. Uh, Roy G. Biv, red, orange, yellow, G. Biv. There we go. And we'll bring out our first victim shirt. Shirt, I mean shirt. This is the top and the bottom of the shirt up here. So I guess red to purple. This should be interesting. very bright purple, is it? That's kind of a shame. It's more of an aubergine. Not that there's anything wrong with aubergines. And last one. All right, I'm gonna bring one of them back and add the rest of the colors onto that one. Just use everything up here.
So they're in here, they need to stay damp for six to eight hours. So I'm gonna use what we just covered the table with. Just tuck that down in there. Six to eight hours, we'll come back. We'll take the rubber bands off. We'll see where we are and then it'll be time to wash and dry them. Hey, we're back folks. Let's see what we have. It's been about seven and a half hours. Okay. As soon as we cut the rubber bands off, we'll take a quick look. They'll still all be damp and everything, but then I'm going to uh, off camera, <laughs> rinse them until it run the water runs clear and then um, wash them in hot water. So yeah, let's open it up and see what we, what we have. This was, I think, the first one we did. I know it seems wasteful to cut all the rubber bands, but that's actually what the instructions say because I think uh, it's possible that if you don't, you start mush and dye around and stuff. So I'm just, I'm just gonna follow the instructions here even though I, I know we're wasting rubber bands. Wow, we look at that. That's kind of cool. All right, that's very cool. Now I'm just gonna speed through the rest of these and show you how each one turned out. Wow, well, that's certainly the full rainbow, isn't it? I don't know if you can see the whole thing. It's sideways, so righty biv. Um, it's interesting. I think I like how the green turned out the best of all of them. The yellow's all right. The others are a little iffy, but not bad at all. It's the back. All right. Ooh, I like that one. That's pretty spiffy. Definitely like that. It's not, ex it's not quite as rainbowy, but it's Beautiful. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Oh, let's see the back. There's the back. Yeah, that's pretty. That looks, see this is, to me, this is tie-dye. <laughs> this is what I always sort of thought tie-dye would look like. Limited memory of the 60s. That is cool. I like it. I like how it turned out. Interesting that the two colors, clearly that was one end. Let's see what happened on the back. Yeah, okay. Rinse them, wash them, dry them, and I'll bring you back at the end for the big reveal.